Bible verse I'm about to give you and the things going on in this world today and the things that people are practicing as far as all these different demonic spiritualities, all the divination, all the new age, all the tarot cards and things of that nature. Listen, all of these things are just making the Bible true all the more. Amen. When the Bible says in first Timothy chapter four, now the spirit speaketh expressly that in, that in latter times some would depart from the faith, giving heed to deceiving and seducing spirits and things taught by demons. Right. And the Bible says that people would have their conscience seared like as a hot iron, meaning people would be under a spell and not even be aware that they're under a spell. The Bible says in Second Thessalonians, chapter two, that because of the wickedness in this world and because people do not accept the truth that God himself, God himself said he would send an even stronger delusion upon mankind. Listen, we have not seen more than we do right now. Right. There has never been a time in history more than right now that there has been more confusion and delusion and deception upon mankind, especially as far as uh, spirituality and religion and things of that nature. The Bible says in Ezekiel chapter 13, verses 9, my hand will be against the prophets who see false visions and utter lying divinations. Now listen, people are so confused because they don't understand why psychics and mediums are wrong. They don't understand why tarot card readings are wrong, right? And it's like these people that practice these things that are practicing divination, it's you, you have to understand it's the source in which they're operating it. Well, why is that wrong? Well, I went to this psychic in this medium and what they said was actually true. Well, listen, that's because they're operating in spirits of divination and they have familiar spirits that can gather information and bring it back to them and it can allow them to prophesy accurately. So people don't understand. So what's the matter with it? It's the source in which they're operating in. Amen. People don't realize that as you're practicing these things, you're opening up the doors. You don't even know what the, uh, the kind of spiritual doors you're opening. People who practice tarot cards, psychics and mediums, even when you go to a psychic and a medium, the spiritual doors you're opening and the demons, the curses, the spiritual warfare that you're bringing upon not only yourself, but upon your children. A point you're, that you're bringing upon everybody that encounters you. The Bible says in Deuteronomy chapter 18, you shall not find among you people who practice these things because you are passing your children through the fire. Meaning you're opening up the door to generational curses of death, of poverty, of sickness, of disease. Amen. And listen, the Bible also says this too in verse 10, because they lead my people astray saying peace when there is no peace. So again, you notice how all the new agers nowadays they always oh peace love and light brother peace love and light they say peace when there actually is no peace and people wonder why all these christians they're persecuting us and they're saying this and that why why are they judging us like this listen i know the truth hurts and you're saying peace love and light you're claiming peace when there is no peace why is that because the only peace is found in the truth which is in jesus christ you're saying peace, but you don't realize the things that you're practicing are not bringing peace because spiritually they're opening up the doors to demonic spirits. Spiritually, they're opening up the doors to curses. They're opening up the doors to witchcraft. They're opening up the door to spiritual warfare and it's bringing confusion. It's bringing destruction. It's bringing death. It's bringing sickness. It's bringing disease upon mankind. So you're yelling out peace when there is no peace. Listen, how often do we see today? People say, oh, peace, love and light, but they're practicing witchcraft. They're practicing voodoo. All the psychics and the mediums that you're seeking out, you don't realize what you're opening up the door to. These tarot card readers on social media, they're making a killing because people are seeking them out, thinking that they're going to find some kind of answer that they can't find in Jesus Christ, even though they can find it in Jesus Christ. They're seeking out psychics and mediums instead of going to church and seeking out a true prophet, instead of seeking Jesus Christ for themselves. Amen. Listen. And all these same people who are practicing these things and practicing new age, the psychics and the mediums, they don't even realize these same people that don't believe in Jesus Christ. They don't even realize they're actually making the Bible come to pass all the more. Listen, Jesus Christ is the truth, the way, the truth and the life. Jesus Christ is the only way. Hey, turn from your witchcraft practices today. And if you ever seeked out a psychic or a medium or a tarot card reader, you need to renounce these things in Jesus name.